Hey. So, I have a lot to read yet, which will only probably take me a moment. Okay, this yeah. book is absolutely amazing, and I haven't had much time yet this morning to continue my reading, but we're about to go to the library where I can sit down and read more piece. And I, I just want to say, I love the cover. It reminds me of a place that it was nicknamed either Fat Man's Misery or the Mushroom Caves. It had, um, it was a place you had to be somewhat agile to get up to the top of the cliff. It was in uh, California near... I, I got little honey packets that I'm keeping in here. So anyone who saw where there's a will, there's a way. And hi. So I wanted to say this book is amazing. I can't wait to continue reading it. I'm at a, a, a part um, discussing snakes and snake energy, and it really touches my heart. You know, every time I start recording, it suddenly gets loud, and there's like, like a bunch of people are here in the scene, um, but it'll be super quiet right when I start recording. So I'll I'll record more later, but. I was also saying that this reminds me of when I was younger, I would go to this tree and it was just this one single tree on the very edge of a giant cliff. And it was in, uh, where was that at? I'm trying to think, Del not Del Mar, um, why am I having a mind blank? <laughs> um, wow, that's bad. Well, anyways, it was in Southern California. And for some reason, it's escaping my my memory. But and I used to hang like not exactly like this, but I would hang upside down like that with my with my knees over as long as I could. I would just hang like this and just I love that feeling. And it was like nearly almost off the edge of this cliff, but I mean it was really on the edge and. Just watching the sun and feeling it on me and just the total absolute peace that I felt. And the snake energy also is something that both both my daughter and I, um, not exactly to the extent, like he's like a 20 or 12 foot, or either 12 or 21, some uh, huge boa. I could, I'm not a boa, I'm sorry, a cobra. Cobra. And... Uh, fascinating well I used to be um, a re quote unquote reptile specialist I used to handle snakes that was one of my jobs as you can see I didn't do the best henna job <laughs> on my hands it was running out of ink on this side and it's challenging but I used to handle snakes and I loved it I've had snakes a lot of my life I haven't lately but I would like to if I was stable enough and I eventually will maybe be that in that place but um, it's been like wild snakes though. So for both my daughter and myself, um, we've had a lot of snake snakes just like, they'll just come up to us even every day regularly. There was this one snake for a certain summer. We were at a little apartment at one point. Um, we had it briefly, but every day this snake would come and visit her and she would hold it, play with it. It would swim with her. It had a little baby pool and it would swim in the water with her we had like a floating thing that it could go on to and she would just hold it and then at night or later on the evening she'd set it down and go rub out and do its own thing i will tell you more about that story too um it's just a short thing but um this is this is amazing this is an amazing book so far i'm really absolutely enjoying it and i'm only like 20 pages into it it's fascinating just getting better and better with every page <laughs> so thankful for it so yeah thank you Saturday